all right so in this video in this video we are going to move forward to the shading part so we are going to use the 2d style or cell shading style which is, um, like this one we, we we can we actually can use the, the, the standard shading but yeah I think it's it's more natural if we just use the 2d style to make it pixelated so now uh, I can just hide this reference because I don't know we don't use it anymore so I'm going to, I'm going to press 8 on the keyboard and then press V and material preview or yeah or maybe you render yeah render material preview first <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to go to the shading tab right here and then I'm going to click the armor object and select the material now I'm going to track this material output right here and add um, let's shader to RGB here and then add color ramp <clears throat> okay now we have this uh, color ramp right here so mm, in cell shading I'm going to use three colors the first one is the main color the shadow and the highlight okay, so uh, I'm going to change the linear to constant All right like this and then I'm going to add another one for the highlight right here all right now uh, I think we can move to the rendered view and add a light right here I'm going to add area light over here so the strength is not <laughs> I'm going to increase the power to uh, let's say 100 okay or maybe three uh, 300 yeah like 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 this okay and yeah let's let's choose the main color uh, maybe like this and for the highlight let's say white color a little bit bluish like this okay Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Um, and then the for the shadow, I'm going to use the darker blue with maybe more saturated color. Like this, maybe even darker. Okay, and I'm going to um, use the high contrast and color management here. Then uh, let's just select all of it, uh, all of the. this one this one this one this one this one 
this one and this one and select uh, this one and we're going to copy the material to select it and all of them will be have the same material as the the torso all right yeah like this Okay. Um, now for the this, let's say let's name it armor, and then this one let's name it gray. Okay. So it's 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 the same. Maybe just going to um, add shader to RGB and then add color ramp in here and I change it to constant and then um, make it gray color and add highlight which is white color and then we're gonna um, yeah make it a little bit lighter Okay, um, we're gonna select all the the, the gray color that we're gonna use. This one, no, 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 this one, this one, this one, yeah, and this one. We're going to copy material to select it. This one, this gray, set gray. All right. Okay. Um, okay. um, let's, let's say the visibility. Disable the shadow. Okay. Uh, now for the the cat. Well, actually, I'm just going to duplicate it from the other one and change the name to cat. And uh, I'm just going to change the color. But let's say um, orange, orange cap. Okay, for the shadow, I'm going to make it more saturated. And for the highlight, yeah, maybe like this. And then we are going to create this, this um, black black and yeah no maybe just uh, i'm sorry sorry i have to chip i have to duplicate it first yeah we press this uh, new material and change the name to black this then i'm going to delete this one make it completely black and then this one also black color so black black or maybe I can just get rid of this white thing over here and make it uh, yeah completely black sorry RGB 
Green. Black. All right. <laughs> now for the this little part of uh, the body, we're going to add the gray color. Yeah, but All right, maybe like this. Okay, like this. Hmm. So I can look and get to save it first. Hmm. And this, this one, I'm going to add armor. And this one, I'm going to add the, the gray color. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that's it. So I think that's it um, for the shading. Then we can move to the rigging and rendering after this.